Lindsay Scott Jr. in the shotgun. Has a man in motion from left to right. Takes the snap, rolls right, fires it back to the back corner. Caught! Touchdown! 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 Oh my goodness! EMCC wins it in a wild one. 67 to 66. EMCC wins. The chase for four is no more. They've caught it. The fourth national championship comes back to Scuba, Mississippi. Move the hardware over in Scuba. There's another trophy coming to Titletown. It was good winning the national championship, just bringing a, a fourth national championship to Scuba. You know, that's a big accomplishment. From a personal standpoint, uh, it was pretty good. It was my first national championship as a player. But as a team, it always feels good because um, it was always at that point in time where we didn't get to uh, play for the national championship. We all know why, but it's always feel good to get the national championship back where we belong. It was unreal. Uh, in 2016, I had the opportunity to go to the national championship at the University of North Alabama, my alma mater. And unfortunately, we didn't get to win that one. And to come back in in 2017 and have a chance to win another one and actually win it this time, it was unbelievable. Um, it just makes uh, everything you do worthwhile. I mean, and, and the guys were incredible, the coaches, everybody coming in here just was, was awesome. And so to get that done and to add to the, tradi the, to the tradition of this place is, was special. I think we uh, we did we had a good great scrimmage. You know, it's uh, missing 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 pieces, but um, we're gonna get it. You know, get along. We had a pretty great scrimmage. I feel like we um, we did okay. We just you know the, the defense came out and attacked us. Uh, had they had a good game plan and they, they did pretty good. Um, I feel like offensively, it's, it's kind of natural for a defense to uh, win scrimmage. You know, win scrimmage early on in, uh, in camp, and um, it's okay. I'll let, the guys knew, you know, they had they just had a good day. And, but uh, we compete every day in practice. Um, I feel like our guys on offense are really talented, and uh, I'm excited for next Thursday. Ever since I got finished with high school and last game, I was like, I'm just ready to be back in pads. So we got full pads the day, and it was just an exciting game. And we had a lot of fun. It was just exciting to see everybody have fun out there. your guys' mindset going into that scrimmage? Basically just, you know, just come out there hard on first and second down, then, you know, third down, just get off the field, just take one play at a time. Mark, mark, mark. 
We're really talented. I mean, we have a really good football team. You know, we got a lot of guys that can run. We got a lot of guys that can hit. I mean, and defensively right now, you know, we have a special group. Um, not that we don't offensively, but uh, the defense is going to be a really, really good unit this year for us. So I'm excited to see them play. I'm excited to see these new guys on offense. We've got a lot of new faces, but they've come in and done a really good job. They work hard. They do everything they're asked to do, and it's going to be a really special year. Inside the pride. Boom. Growing up, um, my dad's side of the family is no football, like his whole family. So growing up, that's all I knew was football. Starting to play football, uh, I was about five or six, and my dad brought me to the football field. And I just see all these guys with pads on, hitting and stuff like that. And I, I played basketball early on, so that was my first sport. But I, saw, I seen all these guys hitting and stuff like that, and I just looked like a fun sport to play. So. My dad brought me to practice. Uh, the next day, I suited up and was hitting the next day, and then I just fell in love with the game after that. First of all, my brother. My brother was a big influence on me. So whatever my brother did, that's what I did. My brother had a number. I had my. I had his number, and so that was like that was my role model growing up. And then uh, so he played baseball and he did a little bit of football. My dad kicked at uh, Kansas for a year and then Ole Miss for the next three, and so he got me into kicking in about fifth or sixth grade. Like when I was playing Pee Wee, and then uh, so it just went up from there. Uh, watching my oldest brother play, even though he played running back and everything, and I just had a little bit more weight on me, so I decided to play defense. So I can say my brother. I didn't start playing quarterback until like seventh grade. Um, I was like playing linebacker and stuff like that, like just linebacker and defensive end. And my dad one day, my dad kind of knew I was going to be a taller, uh, just because he's taller. So he was like, uh, you know, you want to try playing quarterback. I was like, all right, I'll try it. Um, tried it out. I wasn't that good at first. Uh, and then I ended up practicing and practicing and got better. And in uh, seventh grade, seventh, eighth grade, I started you know, becoming a better quarterback and decided that was going to be my position. I got recruited as to be a baseball player. And so, you know, I had a lot of baseball offers and didn't really have much football. And, uh, you know, my visit when I came here for baseball, I just kind of like, it was, a, it was really great. I loved it here. And I, was, I knew instantly when I came here, I was like, this is, could be this cool right here. Then later I committed to baseball first, and then I was here for baseball only. And then, uh, you know, like a day after we kind of finished football season, we lost first round. But, uh, you know, we day after or two after, and then Coach Stevens came, and uh, so he came and recruited me that next day, actually. We had a really good year recruiting, I feel like. We brought in a lot of guys and filled in a lot of holes. Um, you know, you never really, you're never really able to replace some of the people. Uh, you just try and get others, you know. Um, we had some great guys, great sophomores that uh, we lost from that team, but we've got great freshmen coming in that are going to fill their roles. And then, uh, you know, we got some guys coming in that we feel really, really good about. So uh, I thought as a whole, you know, Coach Collins and uh, Coach Boykin as OC and DC do an incredible job. And obviously Coach Stevens just keeps adding to his resume and, and doing what he does, which is win. Well, I learned a lot from the former sophomores, and they just helped me a lot to lead the freshman on to this year and just teach them how to fight through adversity and just keep playing football. How much of a vocal leader are you in practice? Uh, I'm the loudest on the field. Just believe, are you guys on the loudest on the field? Just to get the juice going, just ready to play football. It's like we can really relate to them because we were just in the same shoes like a couple months ago. So we can actually get them like pointers and what we went through and how they need to step up to the plate and be able to play just like us. It's definitely uh, different down here, uh, football. Up north, it's, uh, it's more of like a sport. You know, it's, it's something to do um, on the high school, the middle school level. Um, but I feel like down here, it's just like, it's like a religion down here. Like, it's, it is, it's, you know, it's everything. Football is everything down here. And uh, up north, it's, it's not really like that up north. Um, it's just a different vibe down here. But, you know, it's, it's football. I think it's football both places, but just a little bit more serious down here. 
You come into a place like this and everybody talks about the tradition and how good things have been and then to come in and be a part of it and help it progress and get better is just phenomenal. Being able to be a part of that and put your name on it and help these guys get to where they want to be and, and continue to add to the, to the specialness of this place is awesome. You guys were dancing around last night. Who's got the best dance moves on the team? Mm. Oh, that's hard to say. All of them do. A lot of them do. They all love some music and dancing, so. I, I would have to say, hmm, Eric Kitchens can get in there, Quez, uh, just all those guys that can get hype in there, so. Who's the better dancer, you or Eric? Uh, probably me, I think I got some moves for. Uh, <laughs> Eric Kitchens. Go to song, game day, man, I, I have a lot. Um, I, I really just mix it up, honestly. I, I can't even say one 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 song. Um, if I had to go with an artist, maybe like Future or somebody, but I'm not a big, gotta have a certain song every day. I'll probably play something new every day. Some probably somebody from back home or anybody, really. Do you have any game day superstitions? Yes, I do. I have a pair of lucky draws over every game. They're blue, my fair coat. We're ready. We're, we're ready. I mean, we've put in the work all summer. we put in the work during the spring. And, you know, it's fun. It's great being able to go out and recruit and see some of these great high schools and high school coaches and high school programs. It's great to be on the road and be, be out in the state of Mississippi and see all the different schools and places. But this is what we do it for. You know, this, this one time of year, this 10 games a year, uh, hopefully more than that, is, is what we do it for. This is what we live for. So. To be able to put it now into, into game mode and, and get ready for another team is awesome. I would definitely say be out there to support. You're going to watch a, a serious, talented team, and it's going to be a big year for us. You know, it's going to be fun. Um, I'm excited for everybody to see the new look, you know, the new look lines. You know, it's a new year, um, new faces, hopefully the same standard, same, same championship. So I'm excited for everybody to come out. Come support us. Be there August 30th. Opportunity happens at East Mississippi Community College. The opportunity to jumpstart your education with our affordable tuition and financial aid options. The opportunity to explore many career paths with our industry-leading workforce training and academic programs. The opportunity to become a national champion on and off the field. Turn opportunity into reality. Register today at East Mississippi Community College. Opportunity happens here. Oh, it was f fantastic. I mean, the, the support and the, the love that the people have, not only for East Mississippi, but for Mac JC football and, and as a whole is, in, is incredible. And it's fun to be a part of. It's, you know, being from out of state, being from Alabama, and to see how people love uh, two-year and community college football in this state is really, really special. You know, it's, it's unlike anything you've ever really been a part of. Um, you know, it means a lot to these people. So to have them come out and support us, even when it's not a football game, is, is really special. It was pretty nice. Uh, even though it wasn't like packed, like the whole, you know, like game day, it was pretty nice to see uh, fans in the, uh, in the stadium. Oh, I can tell, you know, Thursday night is going to be turned this year. It was turned last year, but it's going to be way more epic. Oh, it was awesome. As soon as we walked out, I was, it was just an exciting feeling. And then, uh, you know, we have great support out there. And I mean, there's a ton of people out there for Meet the Lions, and so we have the support from everybody around the school, and Scuba, and just around Mississippi and the nation, honestly. Yeah, that was fun uh, seeing, you know, you see it on, you see it on like YouTube and stuff, like all the fans and things like that, but you got to interact with the fans last night, and uh, the love of the community that they have for the football team, it makes it easy to play for these people, because they love this community so much, and you just want to win, you know, for the people that's here, and, and the, the pride they have in the school, so I'm happy to play for them. This is, this is our football team, this is our football program, this is uh, what we do on Thursday nights. Our, from our cheerleaders, our band, 
our, our football team, our coaches, our trainers and managers, this is for you, this is to represent you. Um, we want you to have a great time at East Mississippi Community College. This is what it's all about. Uh, you know, this is us putting on a show. That show is every Thursday night, and hopefully you guys will come. And uh, the, the, if you're going to school here, these, these, are, these, are, these, these are for you. you. These, these these are, this is for you to help make your time here uh, a little more, a little better. Uh, be proud that you're from uh, East Mississippi Community College. I know I'm proud to be alive. It's uh, it's a big thing for us. And uh, hey, I, I want y'all to help me do one thing. We break it down after every ball game. And what I'd like for you to do is stand up on your feet, if you will. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. On, hey, on, three. on three, lines on three, champions on six. This is what we do on the middle of the field after the ball game. One, two, three. Five, four, five, six. That's, that's where we are. That's what we're doing for you guys. Team team team. Team. Second and 16 to Weaver with a man in motion from far side to near. Will just float it over the middle and it's caught. And inside the 40, inside the 35, and taking off his feet from behind at the 30 yard line is going to be Keon Moore. McIntosh and Moore both getting involved in the passing game. To Weaver with pressure steps up, pump fakes as he gets inside the 10, and he is going to all down around the eight yard line. Just two receivers, one to either side. McIntosh flanked to the left. Of uh, Weaver, who takes a snap, hands it off to McIntosh, comes around right side, he gets into the end zone, touchdown, EMCC. They're on the board for the first time in 2018. With 10-17 to go in the first quarter, they take the opening drive down the field and score, and the Lions lead it 6 to nothing, pinning the PAT. And a complete what would have been a nice play. Oh, the ball's going to go over the head of the punter, and he's going to kick it out of the back of the end zone, and that's going to be a safety. Oh, my goodness. Twin receivers either side. Snap of the football from the 43, their own 43 near side. Firing it to wide up a man at the 40 yard line. Caught, stays on his feet inside the 30, and he's pushed out of bounds around the 25 yard line. And that's our good friend, Halim Reddix, who's had a couple of catches here in the first quarter. The six foot two turner, 10 pounder, has EMCC in Hines territory with 7.35 to go in the first. Ball near hash, moving left to right. EMCC in the red zone again. Firing it wide open, caught. Touchdown, EMCC, Rashad Eads. He was wide open in the end zone. Nice throw from DeWeaver and EMCC with their second touchdown of the 2018 season. First one on the ground, this one through the air. Back to pass once again is Morton. He's going to be hit from behind as the ball's just a wobbling duck. Caught over his shoulder inside the 35, intercepted by EMCC into midfield, and he's going to be dropped around the 48-yard line, coming out of the pile with the football for EMCC is going to be Josh Miller, the 5'11 defensive back from Kokomo, Mississippi, a transfer from Jackson State to the near side, one receiver to the far. The Weaver looking left all the way, fires at left sideline, and it's caught somehow inside the 25-yard line. Yes, down to the 24. Oh, my goodness. A great reception by Travion Jones. Here's the snap by DeWeaver, has pressure up the middle and he's gonna get rid of it and call 10, five, touchdown, EMCC. The Lions are on the board again and making the reception is Kaleem Reddix. Crossing Reddix. route that time, came across the middle of the field. Nice job buying time by the quarterback DeWeaver and 
Boy, good hands too by Reddick. That ball had a little bit on it, was thrown out in front of him, but he made the catch and then did a good job keeping his feet, getting into the end zone, and the Lions in control early. Horton takes a snap, gets it to his man in motion, who is from the far side of near, and he's going to be bottled up, and he's going to be dropped back at the 20-yard line. He's going to lose four yards on the play. And carrying the football there for Hines is Jovante Shorter. 12th first down now for EMCC. And here's the snap. They're going to hand it off to the man in motion from near side to far. It's going to be tripped up inside the 40 down to about the 37-yard line. And for EMCC, that's Kaleem Reddix from right to left. Here's the snap to DeWeaver. He's going to hand it off to Moore. He's going to bounce up the middle, and he's going to bounce to the far hash. Gets inside the 25 down to about the 23-yard line. Trips bunched around the numbers at the 10. Here's the snap to Weaver. Quickly fires it. Caught five-yard line going towards the goal line. Does he get in? No. Down to the one-yard line. You know, McIntosh flanked to the left of Messiah to Weaver. Jumbo package in there. The snap and going towards the goal line for the one. Is he in? Touchdown. Second touchdown for EMCC on the ground and the second one by McIntosh. Dion McIntosh gets in from a yard out, and EMCC leads it 29 to nothing, pending the PAT. Weaver back to pass, and he fires in, catches his man in stride, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and he's going to be caught from behind and drugged down around the 15-yard line, and that's going to be Purvis Frazier, a six-foot freshman from Louisville, Mississippi. He caught it on the slant, and he did not miss a beat. Beautiful pass and catch that time, and Jonathan Jordan is going to make the tackle for the Eagles. Trips near side. Here's the snap. And going to hand it off to the tailback, Ragsdale, and he's going to be harassed in the backfield, dropped at the 21 for a loss of four. He'll snap it from their own 21, back to pass, kind of braces himself, now rolls to the left, intercepted at the 33-yard line. Cuts back down the field and trying to avoid a tackler as Kilo Swinney at the 25. He's going to walk out of bounds at the 20-yard line, and he's going to get mobbed by his teammates over on the sideline. Kilo Swinney with the pickoff for EMCC, the second interception by the Lion defense tonight, and EMCC will be in the red zone again tonight. Trips to the right, the snap to the bread basket of DeWeaver. He's going to fire it on a fade pattern near side as a man called touchdown. EMCC, it's Drummond. Now there's the sign. The Lions are up 36 to nothing with 5.22 to go. Drummond with his first touchdown catch of the season. Here's the snap. He's back to pass. Has plenty of... Uh, Time throws it over the middle, caught 30 yard line, 35 for Hash, and making the reception is Rashid Eads, who also has a touchdown tonight through the air. Here's the snap back to pass to Weaver, his great protection, fires it to the sticks over the far side at the sideline, caught at the sticks near the 31, and it's going to be a first down EMCC making the reception. It's going to be Jason Brownlee. Time winding down before halftime, man in motion. It's Reddix from near side to far. He's going to throw it to Reddix. He's open five, caught one yard line, touchdown, EMCC. Reddix, second touchdown of the game. Well, if it wasn't the first game of the season, you would say that's a quarterback and a receiver who have developed great chemistry. We certainly don't expect it that early, but that was a time where DeWeaver gave everybody the look that he was going to throw to Reddix, standing still in the flats. And then Reddix broke for the end zone and he just hung it up for him and that's a touchdown for the Lions. Snap is back, it bounces uh, to the holder. He picks it up, he falls down and it will remain a shutout. And the ball's gonna be picked up by EMCC at the 20, but tackle there around the 21. And that's gonna be Sweeney who picks up that loose football. I beg your pardon, that is not Sweeney. That is gonna be Aikens, request Aikens number nine, that number six. Twins either side, ball on the right hand. Spun of the football at the 40, back to pass. Now firing it deep down the field, and it's caught inside Hines territory at the 48, getting inside the 45 down to the 43-yard line and wrestled down to the turf there. Making the tackle is going to be Kyrie Fields, the reception by Miller. So third and a long 11. On the plus side of the field, throws it far side on the check down and getting inside the 40, going down the numbers, 35, and gets near the first down. And making the reception for EMCC, is going to be Keon Moore. Miller with the first down snap inside the 25 and the 24. We'll hand it off to McIntosh, and there's just white jerseys chasing him to either side. He gets inside the 10. He's going to make it first down and goal to go for the Lions. Way the snap from the three, and they're going to leave it on the ground, going towards the goal line. There's a big scrum around the goal line. Is it a touchdown? Yes. Touchdown EMCC from about three yards out. Deion McIntosh with another 
rushing touchdown in this contest. McIntosh with his third of the game. Final score, EMCC 50, Hines 0, as EMCC begins their defense of their 2017 National Championship in fine fashion. They'll dance across the field in a line as they line up to shake hands with Hines. And EMCC is in the win column, and they start off 2018 in fine fashion as the fireworks fire. And I think they made a statement tonight.